Prospects Oil and Gas is an oil and gas investment company with what it calls high impact onshore and shallow offshore European fields. Edward Dawson is chief executive. He joins us now. I'll get on to the um, high impact and the offshore and onshore in just a minute. Uh, but just explain what it is you're delivering here to prospective shareholders. Um, well, what we're delivering is what we hopefully believe is some great projects that where we get a cheap entry point. Um, we're then looking for an uplift in terms of expected monetary value and ultimately we would say six, uh, well, you know, dramatic increase in, in, in the value of the asset you know, with a high NPV. And is that the description of high impact? Is that what you're saying? Well, you can look at various stages of, of the exploration cycle. You know, we, we certainly think at this stage of where we are in, in, in the cycle, there are opportunities to come in local late in the exploration cycle and put cash into that high impact stage, which is usually drilling a well. Now you've got three um, assets on the on, on, on the sheet, haven't you? I think they were all acquired last year, is that right? Yep. Where uh, are they exactly? Explain um, more about this, because um, I think you said that uh, on, on your website, onshore and shallow offshore, but I think these are all onshore, aren't they? In fact, yeah, they, these are all onshore. Um, we have historically looked at some offshore uh, assets, largely because we do have an offshore pass, and with the, the costs, things, they were coming back into the, these metrics that I was talking about of you know, suitable uplift in EMV and then MPV if successful. Um, but the assets today are all, as, as you know, onshore. So in, we have a half a block in Romania, one sixth of a concession in Italy, and we have the right to buy up to 49% of a very large project in, on, in, in Spain, on the southern coast. And my understanding is that geologically they're all very similar, despite the fact they are in three different regions. Yeah. It, it's not a random walk around uh, Europe here. It's that they're all on uh, a full deep play. So if we plotted a, a map of you know, the Alpine uh, mountains in geological time, they all sit in a similar location to it. Mm. Um, talk to you a little bit more about uh, where the company's going with these and which one it is that's likely to come on first of all. You talk about high impact um, production very close to. Explain more about when we're going to see yeah. uh, production and uh, what it's going to bring. Well, I don't know when you, you did your research, but actually last weekend we came on production in, in Romania, so you, you may have just missed it. Yeah. Um, and so uh, so that, that, that's great for us. Um, Romania is, is a relatively large block with multiple uh, prospects, very similar in nature. And first it was a demonstration of uh, concept to the market. Um, we drilled uh, a well for and put the whole thing on production for 800,000 euros. Um, that's a gross cost, of half of that to us. And you know, that is a very cheap well in, in, in Europe um, and you know, gets on production very quickly. And what are you bringing onto the balance sheet in terms of income? Uh, we, the revenues equate to net to us a month about 60,000 euros. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And how are the other projects going? Um, I, I think they're going reasonably well. Um, we had a very good flow test result earlier this year in Italy, um, which we thought was excellent. Uh, it proves that the value of the project, and that, that's moving forward now you know, in the Italian timescales of getting that on production. Um, Spain, we've got a, pro uh, a work program there over the summer, and um, you know, so we've actually rejuvenated that project. Um, you know, we're well engaged with the local communities, the, the region, uh, and and in Madrid. So I'm, I'm pleased with where that's going. How do you how do you deal as a company? How do you deal with three um, uh, remote areas? I talk re remote. I mean, I'm separate from each other. How as a company do you deal with all three at the same time? Um, and we have had to sort of go through a period of transition. Um, you know, having success in two wells in the, in the last twelve months, suddenly we have assets that need managing uh, and participating in. Um, so we've increased the staff slightly. Um, I mean, we're, we're quite lucky in the sense that. Uh, you know, it's a trip down to Rome, it's a trip down to, 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 to Spain. So uh, traveling is reasonably okay on, on, you know, on these uh, mm. you know, airlines. But, mm. uh, um, you know, we've, it's, it's not easy. I mean, we've got a good operations guy actually come on who's going to, again, you know, make sure that all the paperwork gets done and yeah. all that sort of dull stuff. But, of course, there is the other thing about funding them. 
Yep. And uh, this is something else that obviously shareholders are going to want to know more about because uh, uh, costs are all important. In other words, yep. trying to keep them as, as low as possible. Yeah. Well, I, I think you know historically, you know, we've uh, uh, been a very low cost operation. Uh, you know, the people here at this event today, I mean, we're all exploration companies, so so notionally we all consume cash. Uh, as I say, we went on production last week. That helps our cash burn dramatically. Virtually gets it down to nothing. And now we've got three assets. Um, Historically, we've been well supported by shareholders, um, but we can look to either trade the assets as say now they've had successful wells in them. You know, it's a demonstration of value to the market, or you know, or possibly uh, you know, monetize the cash flow in terms of maybe a small loan or something which we can then use elsewhere in the portfolio. Mm. So, what should we be looking out then for for, for milestones to, to to make sure that you're continuing to make the progress you you had uh, initially said you would yeah. be doing? Um, I think we'll, we'll be able to give the market a good update on, 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 on Spain and, and this summer work program. Um, that, uh, you know, we've had various groups in the field and we can bring those uh, data in, process that, and ultimately look to a, a new CPR there. I mean, the Spanish project is 800 BCF on a mid case, so it's potentially huge. Um, and then we can start attributing some value to that. And again, good steady progress in Italy. Do you see Spain as being the dominant asset then? Um, uh, Romania and Italy put in very good firm foundations, and you know they're going to generate good revenue. Mm -hmm. um, Spain, the potentially there, uh, it dominates everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we we have to keep working on that one. Mm -hmm. One final question: Do you see a future for expansion um, uh, outside the uh, existing assets? Are you looking for other yeah. assets to yeah. take on board? We, we've always had a st strong business development uh, ambition and team, um, so we're constantly reviewing projects. But one of the good things about the assets that we've got, you know, Romania's got other uh, perspectivity in it. Um, there's four, five uh, things we'd quite like to go for. Italy, immediately there's a thing called East Selva, which is double the size of what just got drilled, and obviously we're not prom won't be promoting the operator on that, so we're um, so that's good. So. Mm. Well, look, it's a pleasure to catch up with you, but Edward, in the meantime, uh, thanks indeed for joining us. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure. Um, okay. Edward uh, Dawson is the Chief Executive uh, of Prospects Oil and Gas.